you need to play this Terraria mod that you probably haven't heard of in a while. The Pinkies mod from T Mod Loader 1.3 is one of the best and most unique mods from back in the day. You literally fast travel to new islands and places to fight bosses and do quests. It's easily one of the most unique mods ever made, so let's hop in game and check it out. So we are back here checking out 1.3 Terraria T Mod Loader mods that you need to play if you haven't. And right away, we're starting with a fan favorite, the Pinky mod. A tale of gods and man come on with a name like that it's gotta be a classic let's go ahead let's hop in game don't check it out so we're in the world here with the pinkies mod let's go ahead and check out the mini bosses first this mod has a lot of mini bosses and i'm ready to check them out boom look at that look at what the look at all the awesome and cool looking stuff they got dang what is that anything golem related i mess with and i think that thing was called a golem all right so what do we got here we got manifestation of pinky you feel an uneasy feeling as if you were being watched that boy is watching me can i fight him oh there we go we find him so this is just a little mini boss no crazy like music or anything to be playing but hold up he kind of fighting though my boy hitting us with a little dash he got the hops he got the shield the sword he got everything but at the end of the day it is a mini boss let's pick him up and get him out of here and look at that we unlocked lore okay and then we get a bunch of goodies what other mini bosses do we have there's a trent i love trents Ooh, so my boy's a little little spooky type of uh mini boss here i like trents i don't know if i like the design of this trent specifically i think i'm more of a lord of the ring walking tree type of trent liker but he's still cool looking he got like 2k health i am an expert master mode don't exist and then that gave us a key to cabasars alongside their trent mounts as a symbol of trust grant some access to the most sacred chamber of the revolution itself beneath the great tree so if i remember correctly the pinkies mod has like dimensions and stuff we travel to that's if i remember correctly because i don't see any like new generation here besides this over here which we'll get to but let's keep on going a couple more mini bosses we're not gonna check every single one out but we'll check out a good bit of them arc demon okay so we got like a scarier looking uh demon a little bit lankier a little bit longer too i want a crazy mini boss come on give me like a crazy one sigilite of the cavern god whoa this one's kind of cool looking <laughs> this one is kind of cool looking i can't damage him maybe there's like a certain way we're supposed to hit him my boy moving hold up and then let's do one more here bio hopper and as we can see the bio hoppers they're like little uh, themed slimes for all the biomes crimson corruption and the hollowed okay so just a couple mini bosses but let's get in to the pre-hard mode bosses starting with the one that i was looking at and that was this dude right here the cobolum 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 oh my god <laughs> This is a sick sprite. Okay, hold up. Before we get into that, right? Let's figure out how we like get to these new areas. Okay, so apparently to get to these new areas, there is an NPC we need, the Traveler. This person right here, hello. Yai the Traveler. Hello there. I was just checking out the settlement of yours. The name is Yai. Nice to meet you. Press talk to continue. Okay, what do we got? He said he's a wanderer. I've never been to these Paradox Islands before, so I took my boat to your little land. He said he's going to look around. Even in the quiet countries, there are many unseen, unseen and unheard adventures okay oh and if you see any mysterious artifacts or strange objects that may be interesting do show them to me who knows they could lead to new adventures and as a reward i'll bring you along with me so with that he allows us to travel we just have to find these certain artifacts and as you can see we got this cool little map nice little world building so that's us bottom right look at this great jungle adis desert lawn say mirakai is that what that says efeli arendi i feel like i'm playing skyrim that just says goblins over there so to get to the place that i want to go to fight this boss which this is very cool that you got to go out of your way to do this like legit a whole quest we're going on we got to come over here break the singing stone you can hear the stone sing the song of the earth bring it back to my boy and then we should be able to uh travel somewhere right or do how do i how do i give this to him uh this is a strange stone i heard tales of it it's an artifact that derives from their golden ages when they practically ran an empire more specifically it hails from their old homeland the twilight islands so we talked to them about this and now we should be able to travel to the twilight islands yeah look at that let's go i'm ready oh my god we even got a little loading screen and we are here in the twilight islands they have changed my ui to be really tiny whatever it's fun i'm going to reveal the map 
just to see what's popping here yo this is so sick there's not really too many terrarium mods that do things like this there's like one or two little handful conquest mod is one of the ones that come to mind and i know there's some work in progress ones but look at this bro this legit brought us like a whole custom map and as we can see we got a little town over there to the right we got the giant tree in the middle so what's popping here hold up damn this is a town filled with the npcs sylvan villagers they don't even want to talk to me tat loki might be racist they said who's this red fellow walking in here goblins that's an enemy but this is so sick let's head to the big boy tree what's popping in the big boy tree let's see the bottom so this is the center okay looking good and then let's let's go down what's popping down here like is this where people live a little graveyard okay are these all just little graveyards this is how they bury their people okay respectful i respect it we got books over here we got a little beehive over here just a bunch of nice little details everywhere really makes this area feel alive the only thing is there's not npcs over in this area so i don't know if it's like abandoned or what but let's go back over here to the top of the tree like what's popping up here oh dang kksr my boys got their own clan popping what's going on so we're supposed to fight this boss in a locked room at the bottom of the tree is this a locked room this don't look locked what's going on in this room but there is a room somewhere down here that is locked aha right here look at that okay so that's what this key is for sacred root key so boom put that in there let me light up the area what's going on that thing has eyes <laughs> y'all seeing this this is kind of sick is watching me too this is so unique so uh, what do i do i just i just pop this flag and we get to fight this thing let's see oh shoot there you go there's the real entrance and area oh yeah i see the similarities this thing looks sick the sprite for this is amazing i was looking at some of the mini boss sprites and like okay they're not bad but they ain't sticking out like crazy but this one looks amazing so my boy got the hops he got the little dash he's doing he's shooting out projectiles in there i mess with that heavy let's do some damage though hold up my boy is above us dropping rocks and stuff on us that's a crazy attack let's do some damage though like i said you got a phase two or something hold up he got mushrooms we could jump on yo this is sick I love when any terrarium mod incorporates like the terrain or the environment into a boss fight. Some examples, I think like the spooky mod do it for some of their bosses. It's, a, it's just cool. It makes the uh, fights refreshing and unique. But yeah, let's finish him off. We've seen enough here. Rest in peace. And of course, that boy drops us some goods. I'm not too worried about the goods. Hold up. He did drop mysterious coordinates. Long tablet containing mysterious coordinates. It reads 636714. Okay. I'm still very intrigued about this dude back here. But let us take our little map that we got and let us see what's popping. So those coordinates led us to uh, this area called like Cathedral of the Moon. So what's popping here? Ooh, okay. Cathedral of the Moon. That kind of sounds like a Bloodborne type of area. So what's popping in this cathedral? It looks like somewhere we would fight something for sure or meet with somebody oh the medium work in progress npc ah okay so what my boy got a little little something something some, little something something to give us oh memory tablet can be used to keep track of liberated memories in the current world what the heck oh so this is a little boss checklist dang it's looking like this mod was really gonna be something crazy if these are all bosses and stuff look at this down here underneath it like what this is insane <laughs> This is a crazy mod. I really haven't experienced too much with the Pinkies mod. Like, I've had it here and there in, like, challenge runs and stuff, but I don't think I ever played through it. Yo, look at this. There's, like, statues of, like, people down here. Maybe, like, previous heroes or something. This is so sick. We are in the next area, the desert town of Aitid. It's spelled like that. And I'm very excited to be here. This is sick. I'm liking all the themes, all the, like, areas that we're coming into and exploring. Town's a little bit deserted, but what's popping in here? Here. i'm noticing some chests don't have loot and some do have loot we got a little uh easter egg in the name over there but what's popping what is going on in this area let's head up here to the arena because this has to be where things go down i think if we pop this egg here oh boom sunlight trader here they come so it's a dude and his big ass bird i mess with it I like it. Ornstein and Smo. But instead of Ornstein and Smo, big bird, little dude. So what y'all got for us? We got this little like upwards dash attack with fireballs. Looks like that's all I'm seeing so far. Let's do a little damage then. Show me some variety. It also looks like he throws a spear in that attack too. Ah, okay, okay. We get a couple of different attacks. I like that they give you a whole arena to fight in. 
thank you. Less work for me. Like when there's, uh, you know, natural arenas and areas like this, generated areas. The bird is cloaking. I don't know if that's a good enough uh, stealth because he's a big ass bird and I can see him. So my question is, can we only hurt the bird? We're going to only hurt the bird and then kill it. And then now I'm assuming, yeah, we just fight him. And he's about to go into his orange and Smo phase. You know, when you kill one of them, the other one gets stronger unless it's Smo and he don't really get that much stronger. <laughs> but uh, he got different attacks. He's got a little dash. He's shooting these little arrows at us. He's only got 6k health in extra mode. Not too bad. Should, shouldn't be too bad of a fight. This is still a pretty hard mode boss, but there you go. Let's move on to our next area, which I'm very excited to check out. Okay, we are at the Sankon Sanchon mining facility. Kind of reminds me of a uh, star do no star bound there you go star bound in the urkius crystal facility and uh we gotta get into the thick of it let's get down in here what area looks like where you fight a boss well there's a couple of areas there is a couple of areas so i'm assuming maybe you fight some mini bosses down here too because like look at some of these areas very decorated very like personalized oh shoot there's a mini boss the sigilite of the cavern god we saw him earlier so there is some little mini bosses here and there for you to fight. But let's go down to the main area, which I'm assuming is down here. This is where the big boy should spawn. Yes, sir. Let's light this area up. You know, it's still lighting up. I'll just go like this. And let's see what happens. A roar can be heard from the caverns above. The heart of the cavern has awoken. Oh my God. This dude's gigantic. He don't fit on my screen, bro. Oh my God. He got big lasers. Come on. Terrarium boss, big lasers. You know it's going to happen. This is kind of sick. So what do we have to do here? Do I have to damage one of them specifically? Do I damage him? Oh yeah, I damage him. Okay, let me get a different weapon out of here. I guess let's take out the Terrarian since the Zenith don't exist. And let's do damage with this. So yeah, we got to hit him in the center. He's going to have his big lasers. What am I supposed to do when he does this? I got to scale up the wall. I guess I'll have flight. Actually, I don't know. It's pretty hard mode. This is a pretty hard mode, boss. Yeah, this may be like one of the biggest Terrarian bosses i've seen <laughs> like this dude's got to be up there top three biggest terrarium bosses he's got little enemies he's summoning he's got a little worm that he also spawned in but other than that it doesn't seem too crazy of a fight just a couple things you gotta dodge here and there with the uh, dudes around him spawning projectiles and the little enemies he's spawning it seems like his giant laser is the main attack that he has. Sure, honestly, that might be it. I mean, it's understandable because it might be a little too overwhelming if he had to dodge all these projectiles and his laser and he had even more attacks, but it would be cooler just to see a couple more attacks. Not like it matters. I don't know if this Pinky's mod's ever being continued or what, sadly, but there you go. So we're going to hop into the hard mode bosses here. We're kind of going to skip through them. We're not going to check out every single one, even though I really do want to check out like every map, <laughs> every area on the map. We're, we're just going to check out a, a couple hand pick ones. All right. So we come back and fight a couple bosses here in the vanilla world, our OG area. I think a good handful. And this is one of them, the dungeon constructor. I think we just pop this. Oh, and there's my boy lanky ass, skinny ass. This is a crazy attack. What the heck? Any like Tesla related Terry attack is always insane to me because like electric damage in Terry is kind of strong as hell. But hold up, my boy got the water bolts. He got all types of dungeon themed attacks here. These could be like the little magnet spheres that he's summoning on us. Okay, I see my boy, but it's time to beat his ass. So this dude is post Plantera, but pre Golem. I like that. I like that little placement right there. Oh, okay. So his platform underneath them changes to like whatever element he's using. Okay. I mess with that. So now he's using all fire attacks. I wonder what he goes to next. Maybe shadow flame. Okay. He switched to like silver, which is looking like a wisp and like specters type of attack here. Dang on dark souls ass noises. That legit might actually be like the Dark Souls like bolt attacks. <laughs> the noise at least. Okay, he's kind of eating damage. So I'm going to actually right click on him with the greater manipulation tome. And his head came off. So kind of like the golem. Now we got his head to worry about. Can't damage his head though. Hold up, he got stars too. Damn, this is crazy. This is crazy. That boy spamming the whole room. It looks like, yeah, he's doing shadow flame now. Look at that, I predicted it. But let us finish him off. Great fight. I like that it has so much variation in the attacks. Pretty sick. Hold up, what is this? Mind seal? I place this here? Oh, <gasps> yo, I did not mean to go here. <laughs> 
Oh, shoot. And I believe this is where you fight the final boss of the mod. I didn't even want to go here. But look at this, y'all. We got these little mountains over here. Very nice little detail. And then if we keep going, I think there's something somewhere where we're supposed to fight the boss. Where, where the hell do you fight the boss? Maybe you just spawn it anywhere out here. So, like, there's, like, a whole bunch of items you need to spawn them in. And you got to spawn them at a certain table or something too instead of doing all of that i think i'm gonna just spawn them in via cheat sheet so let's bring them in the mine god oh yeah i think i remember this boss i at least remember how this boss looks i don't remember if i know the fight at all but this is the post moon lord boss so you are supposed to be pretty damn strong at this point and i'm assuming the mod has a bunch of gear that allows you to get this strong hold up he got a metallic nose i wasn't expecting that so he looks like a very scary brain of cthulhu like more uh what's the what's the word like literally cthulhu combined with the brain of cthulhu if that even makes sense more tentacles more eldritch horror looking but let's do some damage here okay that might have been too much damage i forgot how strong the greater tome is but my boy got those attacks hold up he disappeared i like these little like i don't even know constellations this is what they look like the little constellations he's got he's got minions i think that are chasing this around he's got all these projectiles it's gonna be a tough fight anything post moon lord is gonna be a tough fight but i think i've seen it all he said i failed you but look get all these damn cells off of me bro the mind god is resolute so he's tweaking he's tweaking off the percocets and now this is when the fight really notches up i wonder how hard he'll hit me how about a god mode for a second okay i'm out of god mode let's see okay <laughs> one more time one more time hit me one more time okay this is a decent amount of damage i am wearing armor if i wasn't wearing this armor low key he might have one tapped me let's finish him off though sick fight sick looking boss and that is the final boss of the pinkies mod now with how long this mod is and how much there is in this mod i don't think we're gonna check out a second one in this video i think this dude literally be it or this mod will literally be it so let's go over a couple of other handful of things okay all right now obviously there's a lot of other enemies and stuff in the mod so many too many to check out big rocker look at that. big cube let's just spawn in some random ones that look cool or literally some random ones not even ones that look cool just bring in a bunch of enemies my boy got that strap on him though oh he's dead a lot of cool enemies very unique all their sprites are very nice i like it. honestly some of the most like unique sprites i've seen in a minute but let's bring in some of the weapons and stuff legitimately just gonna grab random weapons what do you got we got vacuum stave summons a vacuum floater to fight for you okay sentry what else dark wisp Whisperer. Okay, this is T Mod 1.3 summon, so I don't know how crazy they'd be. Is that widescreen TV? Get one of those if y'all been looking for one of them. I don't even know what to grab in terms of weapons. Maybe I should like. Oh, okay. We got this thing. Maybe I should go like this. Let's go to the weapons tab and let's scroll down. Because I just want to grab the powerhouses, you know? The big boys. What you got for me? Eye of the Leviathan. Now, this sounds sick. This sounds sick. Bring me a boss. Who do y'all got for me? Plantera. What kind of crazy attacks does the Eye of the Leviathan has? It shoots out a bunch of little projectiles. What is the Black Rage? It's an interesting name of an ability. I killed Plantera, but I don't know what's going on. <laughs> She's still like here though. We got the Progenitor. This weapon looks cool, but it's very 1.3 type of weapon. <laughs> so I don't know really what I expected from some of the weapons because obviously these this is literally outdated. So these weapons aren't on the that you know Starlight River Calamity mod, uh, Spirit mod, whatever mods that have crazy weapon type of level nowadays. There's a little bit more on that basic side with a couple of cool ones here and there. Like it's pretty sick. Eternal Eclipse. Hex Hammer. That just looks like a regular hammer. Come on, show me something crazy. What y'all got for me? Can't even use that. Okay, what about this? Oh my God, that is the loudest gun I've ever shot but yeah that was the pinkies mod as you can see from this showcase it's got some crazy stuff bro <laughs> it really has some crazy stuff the whole like traveling to areas and exploring the areas to fight bosses do quests find items there's npcs in certain areas to talk to like it's insane it's definitely way before its time and it was one of the og mods to do stuff like this like nowadays I mentioned earlier, we have a couple of mods that are doing it. Like the Conquest mod is one that comes to mind. There's the Endless Escapade mod, which I have no idea when that's going to come out, if it ever comes out. But that also had like boat traveling everywhere. And then there's a couple of other smaller Terraria mods that like have teleported you to like a different area to do stuff. Like we've seen that before. What's going on? My dude is tweaking. You're going off the deep end. Am I good? Yeah, I love this mod. 
I low key want to play it. Should I go back and do a playthrough of this? I don't know, bro. These 1.3 mods, they're so good. Again, make sure to leave comments telling me what mods you guys want me to check out back from the 1.3 era. A couple of that come to mind. The Enigma mod is one of them. The Juice mod, I definitely want to check out a little bit deeper for its own video. And then there's a couple of other ones I'm forgetting about. But also make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any videos I post. If you want to catch me streaming that big Terraria mod pack I've been playing, I do stream on on Twitch here and there. If I do stream, it's going to be around 6 p.m. PST. I usually stream almost every day during the weekend, like Friday, Saturday, sometimes Sunday. And then I can do a couple streams here and there throughout the uh, regular week. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all next time.